All right. I have not done an opening for a while. We just got our PFDs, so I went and got some stuff to finish up on the wall. This is the first batch. And I got a few bay. But this also has, I'm, I'm eating some Panda Express. Hmm. Hmm. Here's work. I had to go rush to the post office to get this because the stupid fucking delivery person would not deliver it because he marked it as undeliverable, which didn't, we didn't have to sign for it. It obviously would not fit in the in the in the in the, in the mailbox. So you leave it at the fucking door. Holy God. And there was somebody home to get it. Fucking jackasses. <clears throat> so I had to rush off to work. Ooh, it's a spicy. They got a spicy beef and a spicy chicken. Holy God, it's spicy. Mm. Ah. So to rush off for after work before they closed and get it picked up. And the guy's like, I don't know why I didn't deliver it. I don't know either. He's your idiot. So, yep. So, as you guessed, it's, there are some figures in this. And, oh, and two other non-figure original, one from 77. I know this because it might be 78. I'll have to look at it. And the other from uh, Return of the Jedi. And a handful of figures, too. So, I thought there was a box for this. So, this is full of figures. <laughs> Lunchbox, and there's supposed to be a thermos in here too. It's not too bad. The uh, it's a little scratched up, but Wicked's belly's all scratched up. But I haven't done lunchboxes. It's a whole separate thing. Lunchboxes are like the lunchboxes, and people who collect lunchboxes, they want the thermos, they want the the nice thing, and and depending on from what I understand, depending on the theme, what's on the face and the sides and whatnot, some are more desirable. So before I open this up, I'm going to open this up. Because this, there's a box. It does have a box. Yes. I thought that I saw that the box in the, in the thing. So, <clears throat> for those of us Growing up in the 70s and the early, early 80s, we had these 35 millimeter, I'm not going to show you yet, 35 millimeter movies. And you could, and you, most people had a 35, I've still got one, a projector. So this had, um, I think somewhere we still got some, you can get vampires, you can get. Dinosaurs, cartoons, um, just different things. So, what I got was Star Wars. And apparently it's not the whole movie. It's selected scenes. And I don't know if it will pick it up any. In here, I don't think it will pick it up on the. I don't even know if I can see it, but it's a reel of Star Wars. I can't see it. I have to. But I mean, everybody's got collectible stuff, figures, whatnot, lunch boxes. How many of you have a movie on a reel of Star Wars? 
So, I mean, it's, I don't think it's the whole movie, because it says select scenes, but still the fact that it's Star Wars on, on a reel, Super 8. Remember the movie Super 8? Yeah, it's, yeah. So, the box is in decent condition. It's got a little tear there, but I mean, that's a great shot. It's a good shot. So, yeah. I'm excited. I mean, will I watch it? I don't know. I've got I've got a projector somewhere. I have to see if this will even run on it. So, yeah, I remember watching movies and stuff at home. Cartoons and whatnot. But, yeah. And there's other movies, too, you can get. So, yeah. This is freaking awesome. Star Wars. Unreal. Unreal. <laughs> All right. I was definitely draining my sinuses. So this is like, it's not a CD. It's not a cassette. It's not a VHS. It's not a laser disc. It's not any of that. This predates all of that. So all the VHS and beta came out shortly after this did. But uh, a lot of people still have projectors because, you know, it's what they had. So I got to figure out where to put this at. Definitely cool. Ooh, it's in black and white. Even better. It says black and white. Black and white right there. So even better. Dude, I may have to try and set the projector up. I don't have a screen. And uh, just do a live. But I don't know if I can hit with the copyright. Because Disney sucks ass. Disney sucks ass. And they keep screwing up the shows. Alright. So this should be full of figures. If I can get over without breaking it. There we go. Oh. Look at that. Thermos. Should I open it? Is it going to stink? A lot of times people didn't use these things for just water. They're cool. They actually doesn't stink. Pretty clean. So, my first lunchbox in a while. It's all clean. Oh, it's got a crack on it. So I'll have to see if I can find a thermos head. It's got to, it's got to replace the, the cracked one. Because I can probably get a white one that will fit. And you never know. Thermos to authorized user. Cool. So then I got a bunch of figures. Go up on the wall. Because still trying to fill the spaces on the wall. This is cool. It really is. And I can put things in here too. Maybe I'll put all my miscellaneous weapons in here. I don't know. But another item that I haven't collected before. So two new things for me. Yay! This is actually probably the coolest thing. Do you have any of this at home? Any of the old movies and stuff? Not just Star Wars, but the other ones. Because they had a bunch of these things. So, oop, another bite, bite of food. Mm. Some of this beef, some of this chicken. So, this is all going up on the wall. I have a pretty decent Hong Kong. Taiwan. And it's funny, I do have more because I have one of these in the Death Star. And I think I've got one somewhere else. So I've got more than just on the wall, but I don't have the wall filled. 
Man, trying to find him with the gun? Good God. It's insanity. Same with this guy. For some reason, I always keep just not having an extra one. He is Hong Kong. Sometimes you just find that one really odd figure that's, you can't read it. I can't read it. I can't read his writing. So it wasn't the shipper's fault that the freaking thing didn't get packaged, delivered. I did have have them before where they required a signature. If it's over a certain dollar amount, what they sell. And I've had some high dollar ones. Ooh. This one has no COO. So it could be a Letty. Um, paint's really good on the hands. Limbs are fairly good. The face is clean. There's a little smudge of paint right here on the arm. I don't know if you can see it. But that's just from that. It doesn't scratch off. I don't want to scratch too hard. It, I don't think it's ever been played with. The foot pegs have never been pegged. Pegged. And then, you can't have four on without Zuckus, and Zuckus on a four on. Um, another Hong Kong. And these are all decent. Uh, I mean, anything on the wall I could probably get graded because they're just. Let's see how everything up there. It's so all this stuff up here. I, I could have most everything up here graded because they're all quality figures. In fact, most of my beater stuff is just. Uh, ends up in a box because I'll, I'll get figures like I'm still working on filling the 3PO head with 3PO's so working on that um, I'm, I was talking about doing the Darth Vader with Vader's but they can get really pricey and you can't put all the Vader's in all the slots in the Vader head because some of them are little bitty figures um, I think as far as the cases go, I've got all four of the black cases with the trays. I've got the Vader and 3PO. I need I need the rifle. And I think that was it. I think it was just the rifle was the only other one that carried figures. So. But I'm happy. I got something new cool. Two new cool things, actually. That is freaking cool. Who wants to come watch a movie? Yeah. Well, I'm going to finish my food. Let my sinus drain. Put on something cool to watch. Uh, I just started watching uh, Lucifer. And what's the other stupid show I started watching? Um, oh, I watched um, watching Better Call Saul also. That's pretty good. Never watched that one or uh, Breaking Bad. Finished Breaking Bad. And, uh, oh, what the hell is that freaking show on, uh, Paramount? Paramount sucks. Paramount and Max, for some reason, both suck right now. <clears throat> they take forever to load. If you pause the thing on Max, it kicks it back to the beginning of it, which is just a pain in the ass. So you have to fast forward back to wherever you're at. And then, um, Paramount just takes forever to load, just like Max. I, I don't understand why. So, what the hell was I watching on? Because I watched it yesterday, last night. Um, God, I can't remember what I'm watching. <laughs> We're watching Big Bang again. Um, and uh, I still wa finished watching that stupid uh, um, Lord of the Rings thing. Because I guess he fights the Balrog at the end and gets killed. I've seen that scene. It's pretty freaking cool. So. The dwarves, God, they seem so just non-dwarf. And they're all in their feelings. It's like, I don't... Ugh. Stop screwing with the freaking stuff. Just make the freaking shows. That's why the Alkali failed. Because they kept trying to do stupid shit. They spent way too much money on whatever the hell they spent money on. They should have hired twins... 
not just one actress to play both roles. You should have hired twins. And we should have had the freaking the, the, the Wookiee fight. But whatever. They screwed it up. Now it's canceled. We'll never see what happens. Who cares? Whatever. Um, rewriting lore is always fun. Um, the, uh, the room, we're over on the other side of this wall, is uh, progressing. Um, they finally got the, the roof done on it and getting everything buttoned up and tightened up. And then I got to go in there and put wall put uh, walls up on it, cover all the surfaces so I can actually put bookshelves in and, and whatnot and move my collection into there. It's heated, so don't worry about that because this is Alaska and it gets cold. We have earthquakes, so everything's got to be freaking locked down. So, yeah. And I can get my bedroom cleaned out because it's pretty full of stuff. <laughs> so, alrighty. Well, that's what I got today. Um, I've got more from the SWAU, -S the autograph place. Last month's is still en route because, God, this month's is en route and then I got Lego stuff coming and I have another thing of Star Wars coming from eBay but it's more stuff for the wall so yes hmm. pretty good 12 bucks you know can't beat it I don't know well, probably just an Oscar or higher you're probably cheaper than it on there right down <clears throat> I'm gonna move most of this junk, like all this junk. All this junk. Look at all that. Yeah, I got a lot of junk. Then I'm gonna move all my these two box cabinets here, all videos. I got more in the closet. I got two trays under the bed. I have a lot of DVDs and Blu-rays. I got. Three stacks of them sitting right here. Because these are full. That's full. Everything's I'm trying to figure out what I want to get for putting movies in. I see a lot of spinners. But I like the cases. The these these units here. But you can't get them anymore. Solder had the best stuff, but they don't sell it up here anymore. You know, Walmart carried it. And all the stores carried them. It's one of the things I thought about doing years back was opening up a solder store, just selling the freaking furniture. Just have to ship it up on a barge. Oh my, salacious crumb fell over. Oh well. <laughs> that reminds me of the, the Star Wars game, one of the planets. There's a lot of the, the, the lizard monkey things, whatever the hell they are, all over the place. And one tries to attack you too. It's kind of funny. But... I'm going to fire this boy up, turn my fan back on, and uh, figure out what I'm going to put this in. I don't know, but it's black and white, so it's cool. I'm definitely going to have to find the projector. I think I know where it's at. I think it's next to the washing machine. And uh, fire this bad boy up. Do a, um, would anybody want to watch this on, on a... On a live YouTube or just or Twitch or whatever or whatever the hell it is. Some way I can stream this and people can watch with me. Would y'all like that? Would you really like to watch this movie? It's not the full Star Wars movie. It is selected scenes. I'm guessing they took all the boring stuff out, which I don't know what boring stuff they could take out. But it should be cool to watch. As long as it doesn't burn out the projector. <laughs> <laughs> that was the problem with a lot of these is the bulb would get too hot and it would melt the freaking thing. I'd be so sad if it did. But I'm willing to try and set up a time to watch this thing. If y'all want to do it, let me know. Later. <laughs>